All right, hey guys, it's Chad from Sticks Blog. I'm Stick. We just uh, got dropped off from our shuttle. Uh, Wes Weeson gave us a shuttle from uh, Byron Reese uh, to Springer Mountain. So we just got here a while ago. We're walking up to the summit of Springer and then we'll start our hike. So I just wanted to get the video started. Alright, here we got Andrew and George. Barbara, Barbara, tell Andrew hi. Andrew, tell Barbara hi. Hey, Barbara. <laughs> it's cold. George, tell Barbara hi. What's up? Hey, Barbara. <laughs> All right, here we are. We're fixing to get started. Talk to you later. Okay guys, we're up here on top of Springer Mountain. Um, there's the flag. Pretty sure you probably can't hear anything, so I'm just kind of do a view here. sign there. We come up from that way. We're headed that way. And then the Bent McKay just comes right across. And Andrew's kicking it. <laughs> Alright, just show you a little bit of the trail here. Right now the trails, as you can see, it's really good. <laughs> We're enjoying it so far. It's good to be back out here again. Okay, so far just a few things about my gear. I'm loving it. Uh, my pack is awesome. Uh, I noticed before I left, one person asked about the noticing the way that the weight transferred to my hips. Uh, in my opinion, when you take that into consideration, I think it all comes down to how tight uh, the hip belt is on the hips. And I have to tighten down, I have to tighten down my hip belt pretty good, uh, simply because I don't have much of a backside to help hold up my back. So, uh, as far as the weight transfer, I haven't been, but about I've hiked with it now 
three and a half miles so far and I don't have any troubles with it. Of course I know it takes more time than, than that, more mileage than three and a half miles. But so far it's doing really good. Um, I'm liking the multi-pack. I like it because it actually uh, kind of helps can keep me warm a little bit actually. Um, but I like having it here in front of me so that I can access it, get things out that I won't need. Um, can't really say it works any better than hip belt pockets, but it doesn't work any worse. Um, but overall, I think I do like it better than the hip belt pockets, and I'm looking forward to continue using it. Uh, my poles. This morning when I started, uh, I had trouble getting one of them to lock down. I don't know why. Um, I, don't know. I don't know what I did to make it finally lock down. I'm not really sure all I know is it's locked down, so I'm not going to mess with it anymore. But it's holding up so far. Uh, everything seems to be doing good. But anyway, uh, just wanted to say a few words about those things. I'm going to put this thing up and get back to hiking. Like I said, we should be coming up to Stover Creek Shelter. We're going to have some lunch. Everybody. We're at Three Forks. We just came down the trail from that way. And uh, we're approximately 4.3 miles from Springer Mountain. I'll say we're going to Hawk Mountain Shelter, which is 7.8 miles. So about three and a half miles is what we have left. beautiful place of course there's a parking area up here uh, I believe so yeah there it is All right, obviously that's where we're going. Everything's going good so far. We've actually met quite a few people on the trail. Temperatures seem to warm up. I'd say they're probably in the mid 30s. What do you think? Mid 30s to 40. Yeah, mid 30s to 40. Of course, there's a uh, wind blowing, so it feels cooler. Like I say, we met quite a few people on the trail, which was a surprise, but I guess it's because of the nice weather. But anyway, as far as the gear, everything seems to be working out great. Uh, not really any problems that I'm aware of so far. I want to say that I really love my windshirt here. Uh, threw it on this morning, and it made a significant improvement in me staying warm. So, uh, I think it's turned out well but anyway i'll do some more gear whenever we get set up like i said we got three and a half miles to go we're gonna get set up and then uh i'll do some more videos tonight so we'll see you then until until then we're gonna go that way okay here we are um we are at hawk mountain shelter couple of high school guys up there in the shelter tonight we're camped out right behind it got George over here setting up his humble abode mr. Andrew setting up his I've got mine set up and this is the just in case anybody's curious the Z-Pax Hexamid it's the Solo Plus um, it does have the optional beak I've got it rolled up right now and uh, I have the uh, Solo Plus Cuban Fiber uh, light ground sheet inside it. Just set it up. I'm fixing to get everything inside it, and I'll take some more pictures once I get that done. And I've got my Blast 30 pack and my multi pack here. Really happy with the way they performed today. Um, I can't really complain of any pain in my shoulders or on my hips. 
everything rode really good uh, my bank did get hot um, but uh, that might have something to do with the layers that I'm wearing I never stopped and took them off because it's kind of cool out here so uh, I get hot and then I get cold I get hot and then I get cold so I just left them on um, but it did really good so anyway I'm gonna get everything else unpacked set it up inside there I'm gonna grab some firewood get some water and uh, I'll do some more video later okay guys I got my camp set up like I said we are at Hawk Mountain Shelter shelters right over there we're set up back here like I said there's a bunch of high school students up there and then behind me got Andrew and Greg got their tent set up we're gathering firewood getting ready to get a fire get our food cooked just kind of point out my arrangements here like I said I got my tent set up now I've got everything inside there my sleeping pad I got everything laid out ready to get in uh, all my stuff in general I just kind of throw it up in the front kind of helps uh, keep the bottom part from blowing up if the wind blows up through there I've got my cloud kilt laid out as the uh, doorway ground sheet and then I've got my food over here my multi pack my gloves my fuel and everything um, okay here's my cook kit you see I've already got water in there and I've got my water over here purifying can't see it now but there's a little discoloration in the bottom uh, the two tablets have completely dissolved now as you can see I've decided to uh, go with my Frontier Pro and MicroPure tablets again rather than using the uh, Sawyer 3-in-1 gravity filter I just got still up in the air about that but anyway let's see here okay so here you can see got everything in there got my pack up under the head of my sleeping pad give it a little protection under the sleeping pad plus it'll elevate the head so I'm kind of like a, a uh, got a pillow I do have one of the pillow is the flex air pillow I just got from anti-gravity gear got the straw to blow it up with so I'm gonna see how this does and you can see I've got my quarter inch pad on top of my Neo Air and that's the pad that I use as the frame sheet in my backpack um, one thing I want to say right here um, I found out that with this uh, piece here that's sewn in it seems like it's sewn too far up towards the door because in order for me to uh, zip up the doors and not have just an exorbitant amount of tension on this and the the trekking pole being right on the very edge I actually have to put it back a little ways so I've got a piece of cardboard uh, protecting the ground sheet and that way I can zip it up and it seems more appropriate to me also I want you to note the bathtub floor you can see how tall that is give you a that's my Gatorade bottle see how tall it is and it's like that all the way around Let's see Here it is from the head end you can see how wide my sleeping pad and my bag take up in the solo plus ground sheet there keep in mind that the uh, head end is narrower the foot end is narrower than the middle uh, it expands in the middle <sighs> but anyway anyway I'm really happy with the way things are going so far like I said earlier so we're gonna go ahead and get this fire going get our food cooked and get ready to call it a night I'll be sure to do some more video in the morning when we leave. So until then, see ya.